Carbon is the king of all plant elements. All life contains carbon, and the term organic and carbon are synonymous both in biology and in chemistry. And although it's not really considered a soil nutrient, because of the biochemical roles that biology play that are dependent on carbon, it's needed in abundance and it's required for all life. Plants require massive amounts of carbon, which they mostly observe as atmospheric carbon dioxide, which is converted with the hydrogen and oxygen from the breakdown of water into glucose within the plant cell during photosynthesis. Carbon acts as the primary energy source for plant growth and is responsible for the building of essential plant compounds such as carbohydrates, proteins, cellulose, and lignin. The majority of metabolic functions performed by plants using ionic elements or soil nutrients are for the production of organic carbon-based compounds that are released as root exudates. These exudates are responsible for the regulation of biological chemicals and physical changes to the soil's rhizosphere to maintain homeostasis or balance between microbiology, pH, and nutrient concentrations. Soil carbon and the percentage of organic matter in the soil plays the most significant role in crop production, soil microbiology, and plant health. Carbon or organic matter is responsible for the proliferation of soil biology. It helps with water retention and it offers electrical exchange sites for the diffusion of ionic elements and acts as natural chelators that aid in holding elements in a plant available form. The majority of soil carbon comes from decaying plant and animal species during the process of decomposition. And carbon is cycled and it releases the mineral ionic elements such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and many more. Soil microorganisms can utilize both atmospheric carbon as CO2 and soil organic matter to proliferate and grow. The carbon sequestered by these microorganisms are converted into complex carbon compounds that are often biologically available at the plant root. Some of these carbon compounds created by soil microbes during secondary metabolism include peptides, amino acids, enzymes, and phytohormones like auxin, cytokinin, and gibberellins. They also synthesize plant beneficial compounds like organic chelators called sediophores and many other beneficial organic compounds. Carbon is the key and the energy source that proliferates life in the soil and is responsible for so many of the biochemical processes that aid in nutrient uptake and the observation of the mineral ions that are in soil. That being said, I think that it's really, really important to always take carbon into consideration when you are looking at soil health and soil nutrition.